hi guys we're back with another boom bitch video so this is the start of season 46 day one last season we finished at rank 22 that meant that we were starting off this season around rank 12 now that has allowed us to start unlocking stuff and we were just one note shy of getting up to the artilleries now the tech tree that we took the tech tree path, I should say, that we took is that we went down. Uh, we went on upgrade, unlock the medics because they're a little bit cheaper than unlocking smoke screens. And with all the damage uh, that's available this season through the building damage nodes, it makes sense to go and get some of these machine guns and these defensive buildings, flamethrower, uh, right off the bat. And what we've done is we've simply, you know, went down, unlocked all these, unlocked the flamethrowers. We went ahead, got the building damage. We had to go straight to the flares because we were planning on heavy rushing and rooms. So we went to the flares, we unlocked the boom mines. We went straight up to the next building damage. And we were a couple of keys shy of unlocking artilleries. Now I would say that this is the area that's really going to get that's really going to help you push. If you're looking for a push point then this is uh, the area that you want to get to as soon as possible. Particularly if you're around you know rank 10, 11, 12 uh, around my level. Because artillery is going to help you it's going to help you artillery out at least one end room which is which is why you can literally hope um at this point due to so much uh, damage that you're going to be getting when you're attacking. And then the for defensive wise, you definitely want the critter launchers because they can, you know, distract and also attack your the enemy troops. So th this is your defense and this is your offense. At least when you get this, you're almost guaranteed once you upgrade it to tech three or four, you're guaranteed to get at least one end room, which is as best as you're going to hope unless you're going to be able to heavy flare these end rooms. Which is very hard because of so many built defensive buildings in the way. It's very very tough to even get one end room right now. So start of the season I did one I did one attack right off the bat. And then I had to wait until my troops were refilled. So I'll just show you my attack right here. I couldn't do anything because it was so hard um, all the damage they're going up against. The, not only the boom cannons, but also the flares and the machine guns, they simply melt your troops within a matter of seconds. So even though these heavy heavies are max level, I couldn't really do much damage to his um, buildings. My flares are also rank 1 as well, which, you know, I need to upgrade them a bit more. So you can see right here the damage I'm receiving from the flamethrower, from the machine guns and the boom cannons. The, the, no, not the boom cannons, the regular cannons just picking me off one by one. I just didn't stand a chance. And then we also have the boom mines as well in play. So we simply, even just getting one end room, it's very tough. You saw there, we were only able to bring that down to about three quarters of the way down. So not very good. And I'll just show you the enemy replay. Um, if you go ahead and unlock zookas that will at least help you win on percentage um if you are unable to attack uh attack and get an end room at least you will be able to win on percentage so this guy went with two boats of zookas one boat of uh medic and then the rest of them heavies uh the point of my base is uh, not really too strategic or anything i have a few boom mines in the way up to the first engine room you saw there and I've got the all the all the cannons I've got they're all protecting that first engine room so that the heavies get picked off one by one it's particularly defensive against um, heavy rushes you see I've got uh, boom cannons over here not cannons the boom mines over there so if the opponent is heavy rushing me at least the boom boom mines will be able to take down his heavies so you saw there, even for that oppo opponent, it's very hard to get an end room. We do have one attack coming up. So let's see what we can do. 
Uh, and we're not going to be able to do much at all here either. Um, I think what we're going to do here is that since we know that we're not going to be able to do much damage and we're going to fizzle out straight away, let's see if the opponent is able to... Is he going to retreat pretty soon after maybe destroying a couple of buildings? Because uh, if he does, we might be able to drop down our heavies and just attack some of these buildings and win on percentage. It, what might also be a strategy is to... If we upgrade if we up upgrade the medics, we could probably like have four boats of medics and then four boats of heavies and hopefully the medics will be able to out heal the splash damage not the single shot buildings though because they'll just take them out one one by one uh, we're gonna be forced to drop down our troops now in a second i'm just waiting to see if the opponent is going to retreat or not so we have to drop them down now no choice and he's already taken us down, so we're not, we're not even going to bother wa uh, wasting our heavies here. Um, it's going to take us a while to uh, bring save up enough heavies again. So let's return. I think if you're in my position, I think the best thing right now is just to at least get Zookas. You know, I made the mistake there. I was tr um, definitely trying to rush to get artilleries, but I didn't have enough keys. So now I have to somehow get eight end rooms in order to get the next chest. But since I can't even get even one end room, I'm very, very, very stuck until I can at least unlock the Zookas. So let's go back and let's try and get at least one end room. So here we can at least get one end room and we'll be happy. If we do get smokes, what we can do is smoke our way through all these buildings and we can get up there and after we get up there, at least we can take down one or two end rooms. Uh, that might be an option too. But right now I think the best thing is just to go get heavy zookas, uh, tried and tested. You'll be able to at least take down a couple of buildings and get some damage done. And at this level, around rank 12, Maybe that's going to be enough to take down the opponent. And I'm just going to retreat after that. There's no point in wasting my heavies. I don't have instant training, so I really do want to be doing as much attacks as possible. What I might do is also move all my end rooms back here as well and just uh, stack up all my defensive buildings around there as well. So let's spectate. Hopefully I'm getting a retreat. He's using heavy Zookas. Yeah, he's definitely going to be able to get, get that first one. So I will have to redesign the base because I don't want to, I don't want the opponent to even be able to get one end room there. It looks like we might just be, well, we got, we got lucky with that blue mine. And 15 extra stars. Is that going to be enough to even push us to that next one? Nope, not, not, not up to rank 13. So can we do one more attack? Okay, we can do one more attack. And we might as well retreat right now because we're not going to be able to get back over here. Uh, we're probably going to fizzle out right around this area over here. So let's just wait a second and see if the opponent, if he retreats or anything or uh, what he does. But yeah, right now our, our flares are just rank one. We don't have smoke, so we can't really do anything in terms of damage. Uh, let's just wait a few seconds. He's already taken us down. Let's end the battle and that's it. So that's how it's going on first day, guys. Uh, we, we will redesign this base. So I'll just be back in just one second. Okay, we're back. So we've just redesigned the base to cluster our end rooms at the back. And let's try again. We do have so one more attack available to us. And I think this might be the first base, if we're lucky, that we can try and get all the end rooms. So I want to flare over here. The damage from the flamethrower is doing a lot, so we really do have to upgrade the flares there, because that's just annoying now, that it, it only lasts about 5 seconds. Let's go over here. Come on guys, we don't care about that.
I think what I'll do is go straight for the flamethrower. And hopefully if we take out the flamethrower, then we'll be in with a chance of getting the next engine, engine there as well. And we might just be in with a chance, come on. Okay, I'm not sure. We can't we can't we won't be able to get the next one, but um at least we'll we'll win on damage I guess. And this opponent might not up I didn't see what his stats were if he had the two damage nodes, how upgraded were they, but um, at least we're 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 definitely gonna win on this here. And no point in retreating now. All these heavies are gonna die anyway. So we'll just let them die there. We'll throw them up to the mines there. Can they die quickly? And then we'll just retreat. And I think our base is holding up pretty well over here. Let's see how much. Let's spectate the opponent. And no need to spectate there, he's already lost. So let's see how this base did. He's using heavies and zookas. Now all these heavies should die because I have I have put up all the boom mines up in the front. Let's put out 1x. So this should be nice to see. All the boom mines, all the cannons over here. Should be doing a pretty good job. I don't know why he's throwing out mech kits there because the, the amount of damage that he's receiving from all the splash damage and everything is way much, is way more than the mech kits could ever uh, heal up. So that machine gun is going to come in clutch there, going to destroy a handful of his zookas, but we do have another machine gun over here. They're all spread out throughout the base. And that, that machine gun is definitely what saved us there and now that cannon a single shot cannon we might have to move up, move up one of these machine guns up there perhaps um we'll do that just in case if someone attacks us like that next time and they only have one uh, a few zookas left these are the only things that are able to stop zookas or stop an army of zookas that is so that's the way let's see if we can get anything else nope we can't so guys, that's it, day one. That's just my initial thoughts and first few attacks there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.